Gang, take over, please. Oh, yes, Drew, that's a nice hat, I must say. Okay, <laughs> you know, this uh, Friday, uh, we're, we're getting into Easter Sunday, of course, on the Christian calendar. But on the Jewish calendar, Passover began this past Monday night. Correct. And we're going to talk about Passover. We're going to make some matzah. Kim uh, Boyce is our matzah maker, so we're going to get Kim going on that. But uh, Rabbi Brian's joining us to uh, really just give us a, a lesson on Passover for us Christians that might not be aware. So tell, give us so a little 30 Passover, seconds. Um, Passover. Passo, I don't know where I'm looking, but that doesn't oh, you matter. Look right at him. He needs to hear no, it because he was so worried. Look at Stephanie. Worried. Look at Stephanie. He was so worried about having so, Easter ham. It was very precious. <laughs> so matzah is uh, in the Bible. There's a commandment that the Israelites left Egypt in a hurry and didn't have time for their dough to rise. So to commemorate our freedom, we all eat matzah during this week, and we don't eat bread products. Thank you. And this is traditional matzah, and you can taste it and. As the joke is, it tastes pretty much like the box it comes in. It needs peanut butter, I will it say. Is, uh, it like is dry. It's like a saltine. It's dry. Yeah. <laughs> and to celebrate freedom this year, um, I've been working with Kim, and we are recreating a recipe from 1503. This is so cool, you guys. Really cool. There's a recipe from 1503. Wow. So there was a article in the New York Times of the, the Spanish Inquisition. 1492, you weren't allowed to be anything but Catholic. And in northern Spain, there was a woman named Angelina, Angelina de Leon, and she was making crackers at Easter time. And we only know that because somebody narked on her. Mm. And somebody says, this, Angelina's making this, and this is what she's doing. She's taking egg and honey, and she's taking oh, flour and, and pepper, and she's mixing it together and making these flat crackers. And because the Inquisition, whose job it was to get rid of anything that wasn't Catholic recorded her recipe. We have her recipe today. Oh my gosh! Really? Wow! All right, so, so now let's make some matzah. Let's make some matzah. matzah. And now, in, in honor of this, so we will find Jewish families throughout the globe then making their own matzah no. from scratch. No. No. A lot of people buy the box matzah. Yes. Yeah. Rabbi Brian, tell me it's not true. <laughs> Oh, it's true. It's true. <laughs> okay. So what do we start with? So we start with some flour, okay. some cracked black pepper. We're using a little bit of Jacobson salt from Portland. Which I love. I know, I love too. <laughs> uh, and then our wet ingredients, they're really beautiful ingredients. Eggs, olive oil, a nice honey, and some water. Okay. It's very similar to a strudel dough. Okay. And we just pour the wet ingredients in. Set that right there. And then we have a hand spatula. You could get in there right with your hands. You could use a regular spatula. And we just need to bring the ingredients together. OK, so then is that the point where you stop? You just yep. need to bring them together right over out. here. Yep. Oh, no, or we, make it, we form it we're that way of our hands. Okay. So this is going to look like that. Okay. And we're going to divide that dough into about eight pieces. Ooh, can I do and, that? Yeah, you can. can. Do it? Like, yep, like, like a pie, oh, whoa, like pie size? Yep, right. exactly. Just do it like a pie. So just if like it a pie. gets sticky, there's some flour for you. OK, all right. And I'll just bring oh, this. What do I do? Just on yep. top of it? On top. That was a stupid question, wasn't it? No, it no. wasn't. If you, if you don't make pasta or if you don't make bread at home, it's... Okay, all right. So that yep. keeps it from That's sticking still. to my little spatula. I did not um, know this. No okay. And there you go. And then I'll move mine okay. right here. I like this thing, by the way. I know. That was a handmade <laughs> bench scraper. Okay. So this dough has been sitting for a couple of hours. Right when you first make it, it's really shaggy. Yeah. It's a little intimidating. It's really sticky and can make a big mess. Mm -hmm. Just a simple dusting of flour. Okay. We'll take care of that. So that can sit off to the side. All right. I'm going to just wipe my hands there. I want to roll. We yeah, get roll. To roll. Yeah, roll. Let's, yeah, let's make space for you to roll. <laughs> I want to roll. You want to get in there. Okay. All, all right. right, there you go. There's your piece. This little piece is all I get that, to roll? That little piece we're going to do. It's a low budget it. show. Yeah. <laughs> and so You're if you get to, oh, sticky. Oh, I need to put, put a flower on it, should yep. I? Oh, you just put the flower in your hair. Oh, do it. We got you. We got Rocky. No, dear, you're very kind. That's actually real great. <laughs> okay, let's start you over. <laughs> okay, so I put flour on this. Put flour. Like, and okay. on your board. Yep. All right, okay. so just to let you know, while Rod rolls this out, if yes. you're curious about the recipe, and I'm going to take advantage, take a break a little piece off yeah, if I may. Please. Yeah, Yeah. I'd like to try this. Uh, we will post this recipe with the proper ratios on the uh, KGW Portland Today 
Facebook page. So Kim Boyce with Bake Shop and Rabbi Brian. Uh, religion outside the box. Yes. yes. Thank you very much Thank for you. being okay. a part of our show. We'll be right selling back. the matzah in the store all oh. this week. We have about a hundred orders. Wow. So, can I also say the, the point of all of this is to celebrate freedom and religious freedom and especially in, in our world where uh, it, it's, it's very poignant how, how important it is for us to celebrate our religious freedoms and our diversity. Thank you, Rabbi Brian. Thank Thanks you. for being Thank here. Thanks for having us. We'll be back.